In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear people of God, today we celebrate the solemnity of all sins. Our brothers and sisters who have left this life handed on the faith to us. But their names are not recorded in our liturgical book. But they are in God's hands in heaven. We remember all of them individually, wherever they are. And we ask the merciful Father to continue to inspire us by their own very life, to emulate them so that where they are, we too will be also. We rejoice with them, hoping that someday we will be united with them. In this Mass, we pray in a special way for the happy repose of the soul of Marcella Mayaski. We pray to Almighty Father who called Marcella from this life to grant her eternal rest in heaven. May he console the family and friends that she left behind. We also pray for ourselves, my dear people, for our families, and particularly for our sick members and all other people, wherever they are, who have requested our prayers. But recognizing that we are all sinners, my dear people, let us pause for a while. If there's any way we have done wrong, and ask for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in, thoughts and in my words. words. In what, what I have done, done and in, in what, what I, I failed, failed to do, do. through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed, very ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth, peace to, to people, people of, of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you. you. We bless you. We adore, adore you. you. We glorify, we glorify you. you. We, we give you thanks, thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, O oh God, oh God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. You take, you take away the sins of the world, world. receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone Lord are the Holy One. You alone, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most, Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. With the Holy, With the Holy Spirit, Spirit. In the glory, in the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, by whose gifts we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, 
for which we in earnestly long. Father in heaven, you call our sister Marcella Mayaski from this life. In your infinite kindness, O oh merciful Father, grant eternal rest to her soul. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, the disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are they merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of hearts, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When they persecute you, insult you, all falsely, because of the sake of the Son of Man and because of the kingdom, be glad for your reward will be great. Your reward will be great. My dear people, before we continue, just two or three announcements. 
First, tomorrow is the feast of all souls. Our dear ones who departed this life, we remember them in a special way tomorrow. So there will be 8 o'clock mass here at St. Charles. For the departed members of our parishes, St. Charles Borromeo and St. Michael, our dear ones, 8 o'clock here at St. Charles. Again, the World Mission Sunday collection. I know in the box of envelopes sent out at the beginning of the year, there's envelope from the diocese. This is a national collection. Uh, please, when it comes up in any way you can, or we have made it, uh, please remember it's not for us, but that we may be able to reach out to other people in the world in different ways. There is uh, well, the postcards at the back of the church. It comes from the diocese, from the office of the vocation director. There are six of them, individuals, seminarians, and they're asking for adoption of seminarians because oftentimes we tell, ask ourselves why the low vocation here in a Bellevue. Some mention high cost of education for the number of years they spend training to be priests. Though we have collection to help to offset the costs, but then now they are reaching out to us all. If there's any way anyone can adopt a seminarian, well, the address is there in the diocese, vocation director, or call the office. So pick one of the cults, they are the back of the 18 of them, both sides of the main entrance to the church. On the 11th of this November, there will be a farm blessing of Marvin Kerbit from Sheila. For those of farmers who can make it for the blessing, we appreciate it. And we express our sympathy, those from St. Michael the Archangel, on your behalf to Dan Gonina for the death of his son-in-law, Tony Frangi, who was buried uh, Friday or Saturday. In the same way, those from St. Charles Borromeo will express our sympathy to Margaret Petke, our parishioner, for the death of her daughter, Sharon Petke, was led to rest in our cemetery yesterday. Each and every one of them who have been dear to us, active parishioners who are touched by this exiting of the member of the family, we express our sympathy. But back to what we have today, my dear people, about our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in heaven. They were one of us. Who are these people, they ask? Our brothers and sisters. Each and every Christian, our aspirations, what we look forward to, to be united with our God when our life on this earth is over. But while we are going through it, there are many obstacles, ups and downs. But then we know for certain that there are thousands and one of them who have endured it, but in the end, and in heaven. Their names are known, known to us individually, but today, the church has given a particular day, every 1st of November, to remember them all. They have reached our home in heaven. We ask for their intercession. We rejoice with them and look forward to joining them when our own life on earth is completed. But though the beatitude tells us from the gospel, those who are poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven will be theirs, those who mourn now, and those peacemakers, those who are clean of heart, and those persecuted, they will get their reward. But in the book of Revelation, there are a particular group of people who gained their own admission into the kingdom, not through by 
mourning for righteousness, not by peacemaking, but they were persecuted. They were persecuted for their faith. They endured persecution ridicule because they look forward to something great. We may be wondering where they are from. But then the book of Revelation tells us they are our brothers. They are our sisters. They are our neighbors. In the first century AD, Christianity suffered a lot in the hands of the pagan Lord. Why? They refused to sacrifice to the emperor. They refused to offer incense to the emperor. And because of that, they were regarded as rebellious, rebels, and they were hunted. In fact, they were not allowed to do business unless they carried the sign of the bill on their forehead. The book of Revelation, though written in a coded form, has to be decoded to understand what is going on. But the contemporaries of John, the visionary, the apocalypse, knew what he was talking about. So for us all as Christians, when we are being baptized, we make the sign of the cross on our forehead, seal us off, indicating that we have now accepted Christ, now is, we are under his own protection. When the angel of destruction at the time of compensation come, and they wanted to destroy the earth, they had another voice saying, don't do so, until we have sealed the servants of God with the seal of Christ, with the stamp of Christ. So that is why at the beginning of baptism, we make the sign of the cross on our forehead, sealed with the sign of the cross. Now, now we are under the protection of God. But those who have left themselves under the protection of the evil in our world have gotten the seal of the beast. We call it. But this part of the book of Revelation is where many persons have wrongly interpreted. But the author tells us those who have wisdom can calculate what that number 666 means. He says the number of a person belongs to an individual, but they wouldn't want to talk, call the name of the individual, but they will know it. Because the Hebrew alphabet and the Greek alphabet have constructed in such a way that people who know very well could determine by putting them together who is implied and what the number stands for. Now, so with that, with that understanding, we thought it must be for uh, Nero, who persecuted the Christians in the first century, around 53, 56 AD, followed by other leaders who kept on persecuting. But the persecution has not stopped, even to this our time, but in different forms anyway, in different forms. But the most important thing we do today, my dear people, when they asked, who are these? And they were told, our brothers. First, they are our brothers. Second, they went through the difficulties and the trials that we ourselves are going through now, lest we think our world is different. No, it is the same with theirs. Third, they persevered to the end. It was tough but they persevered to the end. Fourth, they came from anywhere and everywhere in the world. It's not from any particular ethnic group or race or people, but all who have accepted Christ, wherever they may be. And finally, when they achieved their victory, it was not by their own power. It was because they led their life on the foot of the blood of the Lamb. Because Christ, the head, they followed to lay down their life. Therefore, my dear people of God, 
Is there any among us who is going through some difficult times? And I'm quite sure that many, if not all of us, know that the salvation comes from God, not from human. From God. God has solution to every problem we have. If only we lay down our lives in his foot, let him do with us what he wishes. So as we rejoice with our brothers and sisters for their perseverance to the end, we are called not only to celebrate their heroism, but we are called to emulate them in faith, in charity, and in love. For they are our brothers, and their endurance have won them salvation. So will it be with us all. If we persevere to the end, not be carried away by the ephemeral things of this earthly life, by the passing winds of these earthly pleasures, but they endured it to the end. May the Lord God, my dear people, who called us today together and given us the understanding to rejoice with these our brothers and sisters, continue to grant us this understanding that we ourselves will not be shy of our feet. Because St. Paul tells us, I'm not afraid of the faith. I'm not ashamed of the faith. Because from it, our salvation comes. And our Savior makes it clear, if you deny me before the world, I will deny you before my Father. We may be unfaithful, but God is always faithful. He came that all may have life and have it to the full. Whatever the situation may be, we have been sealed with the sign of Christ. May he continue to grant us this understanding so that in the end, enduring, we may be said to us all, he will say to us all, well done, good and faithful servants. Come therefore and share with me the joys of the kingdom. Let us rise. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker God of heaven and earth, and earth of, all of all things invisible, invisible and invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only, the only begotten Son, Son of God, God born, of, born the of the Father before all ages, ages. God, from God from God, life from life, from life. true God, God from true God, God. begotten God, not made, unsubstantial with the Father, through him all things we are made. made. For us men of our, our salvation, he came, he came down, down from heaven. heaven. And by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. For our, For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered the death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to joy the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the, and the life of the world, of the world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. My dear people, as we can be called the children of God, we are invited to call upon God as our Father and express our needs and the needs of the world, particularly the needs of good health for our dear ones who are sick that they may be relieved of their sicknesses. And our dear ones who have departed this life, eternal rest in heaven. For the church, the communion of saints, that we may grow in holiness as we grow in faithfulness to the Beatitudes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may choose to be peacemakers, recognizing the image of God even in their enemies, and encouraging the people they lead to do the same. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer.
for those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that they may sustain the battle for justice and goodness and not lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn, that they may find comfort in the Lord through support and compassion of family, friends, and our parish community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, that with God's grace, we may continually pursue the ideas expressed in the Beatitudes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We pray for those who are suffering in the current outbreak of coronavirus, for their doctors and caregivers, with the support of our prayers, that they may return to the fullness of health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We pray for those who have died in the United States and around the world due to the coronavirus, that they may share in the eternal life promised by Christ to those who faithfully follow him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> for the sick in our parishes, especially Rhonda Aldridge, Linda Burrell, Evelyn Bockenting, Reverend Randy Hayes, Angie Howard, Larry Hewitt, Virginia Yonke, Daniel Kanya, Pauline Kanya, Russ Cohen, Ernie Kuava, Kaylee Laramie, Geraldine Leshesky, Reverend Del Maxfield, Daniel Morsky Sr., Joanne Massa, Don Picorni Jr., Linda Shigoda, Father Joseph Rasher, Elizabeth Schultz, Kathy Sikora, Dave Tomaszewski, Leslie Tubbs, Amber Zoller, and all those from our parishes who have requested our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful Lord, we trust that those who show mercy receive mercy in return. Help us to live a lives marked by mercy. Grant these and all the prayers we make today, O Lord, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, Lord our God, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. Thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, by your gifts, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother. We are the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us, in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Are indeed the Holy Spirit. We give you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. Never cease to give life so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a few sacrifices may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Well, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the seventh passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Son Joseph, our spouse, and with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, St. Charles Borromeo, St. John Paul II, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May these sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on it. With your servant, Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, Edward our Bishop Emeritus, and Stanley our Bishop in residence, and the order of bishops and all the and then for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family gathered before you, Lord, whom you have summoned in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Marcella Mayaski, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will wipe away in the flesh those who have died and raise them up and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters also and to all who are, we are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, O most loving Father. Dear, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the whole world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear people, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, let us with one voice say the Heart in heaven. Thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, daily bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. free from sin and safe from all distress as we are with a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus, I give you look on our sins but the faith of your church and graciously and peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever Peace of God be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace of Christ.
land. For I am not worthy that you should be my roof. Unless said a word, am I so here?
I think I've made the announcements once again just to thank you very much. In any way, you've been participating towards the progress of our both parishes. Uh, let me remind ourselves on Friday there will be this the funeral of uh, Leonard Janowski. On Friday, he'll be led out, he'll be led out to here for visitation from 10.30 until 11.30 when the mass will be on Friday here for Leonard Janowski. Please read the bulletin for the rest of the announcement and then do not forget the seminarian's card at the back of the church in case you're interested but to which you are to help out in any way you can. Once again, thank you very much. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your sins, we implore your grace, so that coming into perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Father in heaven, may our celebration of this holy Eucharist help to bring home in heaven our sister, Marcella Mayaski, who will remember us especially in this Mass. Reach out to the many others, O oh Lord, who have requested our prayers wherever they are and under whatever situations they find themselves, and grant them all your divine mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of all the sons who has caused you to be strengthened by means of the outstanding prayer, bless you with unending blessings, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Free the, through their intercessions from present ills and from the, formed by the example of their holy way of life. May you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where the Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the camping of the citizens of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and continue to serve the Lord. The Mass is ended.